Go ahead and put her down. It's time to remove her tail. Green friend, we are far fit. Hey, Sayla, did you know that some people will whack, whack a dog's tail off? No, why do they do that, Daddy? Well, they do that because that practice is actually called docking or bobbing a dog's tail. And dogs' tails were recorded to be docked all the way back into the Roman times, and they believed that docking a dog's tail would help decrease his chances of getting diseases like rabies. And the practice has continued on throughout history. She is just rambunctious and energetic today, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Full of energy like you. <laughs> Well, in the 18th century, they continued the practice, and the practice was done to working dogs to distinguish them from non-working dogs. And non-working dogs, the owners of those dogs, were actually taxed on those dogs. And the working dogs, the owners, were not taxed because those dogs, they had a purpose, and they were, they were actually contributing to the, the food, if there were working dogs on a farm, to the needs of the community. And the practice has continued on throughout history, even up into today. Dogs who have bobtails are have bobtails from one of three ways. One, they're mutated through breeding, selective breeding. The ones that have shorter tails, they're just continued to be bred so that way the shorter tail gene continues on. Also, dogs' tails are bobbed through constriction. Some people will take a dog at a young age and they'll place this rubber band, this band on it to restrict or constrict the blood from flowing to that tail and the tail will actually just fall off after a couple of days from the lack of blood flow. So it's probably a little bit painful but that's what they do. And others will also just kind of sever it. They just chop it right off. Sounds kind of scary doesn't it? Yeah. And with the severance technique nowadays a lot of the professionals will use some anesthesia on the dog so that way there's no pain or less pain involved. Australian Shepherds are one of the breeds that have their tail docked or bobbed. There's also other dogs, but Australian Shepherd is one of the working dogs that tend to be on farms, and that's one of the reasons that we have Australian Shepherds. But the, why? You're still probably wondering, why do people want to bob their tails? Well, some people do it for cosmetics. You're probably wondering, what is a cosmetic? Well, they do it just for the certain look. The cosmetic is just the aesthetics or the look of it. Some people just really like the look of a dog with a bobbed tail. And even in dog shows, some of the people, the judges, they really like the look of dogs with their tail bobbed. I know, I know. But some people really do. And other people will bob their tails or dock their tails to just help prevent injury and protect them. Because when a dog is out working or they're running through the forest or the woods and they're just, they're hitting all kinds of thorns and thistles and things that could just cut their tails and cause all kind of scratches, those scratches could lead to infections and they could actually be seriously hurt or, or really sick. So people will dock their tails to help prevent them from having those kind of, of problems. Um, other people will also, if they're raising them around cattle or horses, they'll dock their tail to keep them from having their tail crushed by a huge horse or, or a, a bull that could step on their, their tail and, and crush it, and that could cause serious injury too. So there are reasons and there's benefits to having a dog's tail docked. However, I don't think that we're going to do it. You don't have to worry about no. me cutting off your dog's tail or our dog's tail uh, because one, we don't feel like we have animals that will really cause any problems for them uh, having their tail crushed or hurt. Yes, we do have thorns and thistles out there, but uh, I'm not really concerned about them getting those kind of infections. It's, I just, I don't think it will happen. So I don't want, I know some of you are out there saying that it's animal cruelty to have your dog's tail docked. No, I don't think we need to bash people who decide to have their dog's tail docked because I think there are benefits to that and, and an owner of have a dog that has his dog tail doc is, is th looking out for the benefit of his dog and making sure that it stays healthy and prevents it and protects it. I personally don't like the look of it. I like to see a dog with his tail because one, the dog, their tail is a communication tool. A dog, you can tell when a dog's happy. Yeah. It, it, it expresses 
emotions. It does. You can tell when when Patsy or or Pepper here when they're excited to see and happy, <laughs> that tail is just wagging away. And other dogs, they communicate to one another that way. They can see how their tail is is moving around, and if the dog is wagging, it, it, then that dog wants to play. But if that t that tail is still. <laughs> That means that a dog is afraid or angry. So whenever you see that, you may want to stay away from a dog that has his tail like that. Also, when a dog is in trouble, you know, Patsy, when she's in trouble, what does she do with that tail? She puts it down, lays it on the ground. Yep, she's kind of so she kind of tucks it right under her. Yeah, she's like she's like, no, 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 don't get me. <laughs> also, the tail can really help a dog when it's swimming, it can act as a rudder, and also when it's running. Can help it with balance and stability. So there are a lot of benefits to the tail. The dog naturally has a tail. Yeah. Designed with a tail. But like I said, I can also see the benefits to docking a tail. Well, any questions on that? No. You sure, you don't want me to go wh whack off the tail? Uh, I'm sure. Y'all. Yes. We're not going to do that. Also, I do want to mention for those of you, if you're considering having a dog with a bobtail, make sure it's done by a professional, somebody who is, who's, who's done it before. And when you do it, you want to make sure you do it at a young age. The older the dog gets, the more pain it's going to cause them and the more likelihood you're going to have infection. Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope you learned a little bit here and you got an opportunity to see Sailor's dog again, Pepper Hi, here. And she's been energetic and bouncing around the whole time we've been trying to record. So that's it for now. We'll see you next, next time. time. Grow on. There you go. While we use some overdramatics and humor at the beginning, docking an animal's tail is something to not be taken lightly. I also want to mention that docking a dog's tail for the purpose of it being a working dog and for protection of it, I do agree with. However, Docking it for the purpose of fashion and cosmetics is something that I think is unnecessary. Well, that's it for now. Let's go play with some puppies. Sit. Sit. Shake. Good girl. Me! You playing too, Micah? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You going up the mountain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm -hmm. Look at there. You like Coco? Yeah. <laughs> Better, better. She's kissing you. Yeah. Oh, we have a friend, Cotton. Climbing up the mountain. Whoa. Here we go. Climbing up the mountain. Way up here. We made it. The dog's coming too. Come on, Pepper. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, watch this. Me to jump down. Sure about that? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, there you are. There you are. What? Why are you? Here we are. Look at there. Look at there. Come join us, Derek the Handyman, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and hundreds of other homesteaders in Hannibal, Missouri for the Homesteading Life Conference. Act now to get your advanced tickets at the lowest price. Prices go up January 1st. Don't miss out. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here and also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.